burning anger in Uganda's capital, Kampala, as word spread of the arrest of Bobby Wine, who these protesters want as president. That message was clear as they defaced images of longtime leader Yoweri Museveni. Security forces responded by firing tear gas and arresting dozens of demonstrators. But it's this moment that brought them onto the streets. About 100 kilometers away, the pop singer turned politician Bobby Wine was campaigning in Lurka when he was arrested and bundled into a police van. Security forces cited repeated violations of COVID-19 restrictions. Following his arrest, Bobby Wine tweeted that resistance is a duty. Analysts say he's gaining popularity among young people who are hoping he will bring change to a country ruled by President Museveni for three and a half decades. Museveni's party insists the president is still popular. I think we have to look at the, at the end of the day, the demographic uh, shifts are not in favor of President Museveni, who has been in power for 35 years. Personally, I've never seen any other president. So it's very important to know that people are looking for a change. Wine has been in politics since 2017, when he won a seat in the National Assembly. The presidential hopeful has been arrested many times since. This is what security forces did to his car after he submitted nomination papers to run for president. Wine says he's been repeatedly beaten and tortured while police continue to crack down on his supporters. People have a right to demonstrate, demonstrate peacefully. Uh, any excessive use of force by security forces anywhere is of concern to us. Um, and uh, it is important that there is a space uh, provided for people to express themselves, whether in demonstration or through a democratic process. Uganda has never witnessed a peaceful transfer of power since independence in 1962. With the presidential election set to take place in January, tensions are high, with wine regarded as Museveni's strongest challenger during his decades in power. Laura Burden Manley, Al Jazeera.